Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a Power Query video. I'm going to show you how you can use a named range in your Power Query calculations. So in this example, I've got some items, cost, and I've got a markup. I should format these as dollars. And so I've got a markup here that has a named range called markup. Okay, so what I'm going to do is set up Power Query and pull these values in. So I'm going to go to the data tab, hit from table or range. It's going to automatically detect this. Hit OK. And now it's going to populate these, these values. So I've got what I, what I needed. I've got my costs in here. And what I'm going to do now is add my, my named range. And why I usually like to add ra named ranges is at the very beginning. So I don't want to just add a step here. I'm going to go to the advanced editor and then right above the source, I'm going to call this markup. And then I'm going to use the same type of uh, structures for the source. I'm going to use Excel, current workbook, open and close parentheses. Then I'm going to use curly brackets followed by square brackets, set the name equal to markup and this is lowercase so with power query this this is case sensitive so if you get an error here then you're going to want to double check that you've typed this out correctly then what i also need to do is put in uh, square brackets again content so i put the content in the same format as you're pulling a table but because I don't actually want to generate a table, I want to uh, specify a certain value. I need to specify the row and, um, and the column. And so I'm going to put curly braces for zero and then square brackets, column one. Put a comma, hit done. And now you'll see markup shows up here. So it's got 0 0.05, which is same as 5%. So if I didn't have these values in here, if I just pulled the content, you don't have a table. So this is not what I want because I don't want it to be in a, in a table format. Otherwise, it's not going to work in my calculations. So this is a standard type of format that you can always use for any type of named ranges. So, to, so I would just suggest, you know, copying this down or copying, um, we're just basically recycling this, this syntax. So it's going to work for any sort of named ranges where um, you've got names set up in Excel. So now I've got my source in here. And now I can use my named range um, to add a column. So I go to add column. Let's say I want to calculate the, calculate the price now. So I'm going to go to custom column. And what I'm going to do is call this price. And I'm going to take my value in the cost multiply this by one plus my markup and again got to be careful to make sure you're using the right case here i've got markup and that's the name i have here if i use lowercase it wouldn't it wouldn't find it and now you can see i've added that custom uh custom column and it's done that calculation so it's taken five multiplied it by by that rate of five percent so now i can close and load this and now it'll update in Excel. So now if I were to change this markup to let's say 25%, I can go back in here, do a refresh of the data, and now you'll notice my values have automatically updated. So that's the cool thing of using named ranges with, with Power Query is you can make your data set a whole lot more, more dynamic by incorporating this into your calculations.